Oh, it's bullcrap. Okay. Let's see here. Um, first, I'm going to show you the uh, busting through these things now. Before you bounce off when you run into them, but now uh, you uh, you just kind of burrow through them or bore through them. There you go. I got the particle systems in place. Um, you can make it. Uh, you know, they don't stop you too much. Uh, these ones, anyways. I mean, you can you can eventually slow down if you're going through them like this, but uh, I don't know if there'll be any places where I'll stack them that thick or not. Um, I don't know, we'll probably make a bonus stage of it, give you so, amount, so much time to bust them up. Let's see. Also, this isn't, uh, breaking these things down isn't just dependent on having a uh, certain item uh, in you either. Uh, now it can be based on size as well. So if I was one size bigger than, you know, the uh, normal starting size. Uh, but you can't, you can't like uh, just shoot right through these like any other ones. You will get slowed down. Um, there's my. Uh, I was testing out the tree uh, tiling. I'm gonna make a modified version for the small tree here, just for the base, because uh, that just looks wonky right there. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's jump into whoop, the stage. Um, uh, I don't know if it'll show up after all the encoding and stuff, but uh, I have a uh, an overlay uh, going through here. Like here comes a light spot because um, these first couple stages are supposed to take place in uh, overcast uh, weather-wise. Because later on uh, there's a downpour, and in some of the uh, later stages uh, the sun's out, and that plays into uh, affecting your health and such. Let's see. Uh, yeah, slopes. I changed the severity of which you uh, your height is affected by the slopes. Because um, before it was it was a pretty uh, drastic jump because it was it would uh, you know shoot you up a whole change your angle a whole like 45 degrees or whatever, and um, it made uh, going around on these things not so chunky. You also notice I got the. Uh, the shadow change to uh, depending on what angle you're on um, tremendously helps the visual when you're uh, you know coming off it and stuff like that. It just makes sense to the eyes. Um, let's see. Oh yes. Um, also notice I'm pretty much done with this stage visually. Um, here's our uh, tree tile put the use in one spot. Also got this animated. Uh, bush right here. These are backgrounds, um, not objects. I have I have one object for the stage that uh, animates these things. There's a tree there, put one there. Let's see, there's one down there. Um, yep. Uh, let's see, I'll probably uh, this next week work on the actual art for the Grasterds and uh, get them wrapped up and uh, then after that I think I'll start working on sound effects for the uh, uh, related objects in here like these uh, the huts and stuff so when you destroy them you know it makes an appropriate noise and all that jazz okay I think that's uh, that's all I got I mean I've started I've worked a little bit more on uh, you know stage one two uh, just getting the walls and uh, you know, shadows down, uh, basic stuff like that, before I actually go in and start you know, adding decorations or whatnot. Alright, that's, uh, that's it for this week. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one, people.